Hey guys, it's Super Review Games or Adam, and we are back again with another Fortnite Top 5 video. And today, we're gonna look at five things that were so powerful it actually broke Fortnite. So, over the course of Fortnite, we've had a lot of different, really overpowered things in this game. That could be weapons, certain strategies, equipment, things that were so OP that Epic Games either had to step in and change these things or completely remove these things from the game. So, in today's video, I wanna go over five things that were so overpowered they actually broke Fortnite. Now of course guys let me know right now in the comment section below what do you guys think was the most overpowered thing in this game. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say and of course if you haven't already go ahead and smash a like on this video subscribe for more Fortnite top 5 videos and besides that let's go ahead and jump into today's top 5. So starting our list off here in the number 5 spot we have the good old boogie bomb and this one might surprise some of you, if you are somebody who just started playing Fortnite recently, you have no idea how overpowered the Boogie Bomb used to be. Now, of course, it's really not a big deal. It really isn't that useful, to be honest, because it only lasts for about five seconds, and if you are shot while in that dancing animation, it goes away, and you can go ahead and counter the person shooting at you. But back when it was first added to Fortnite, things were a little different. So when the Boogie Bomb was first added into Fortnite, there were a couple of big differences. The first thing is the time. It lasted for about 10 seconds, which is absolutely forever because if you're close enough to hit someone with the Boogie Bomb, you have enough time to rush them in that 10 seconds and get the kill. Second thing, when you were shot while in that dancing animation, guess what? You stayed in that animation until that 10 seconds ran out. Now, of course, again, you get thrown out of that animation as soon as you're damaged, but back then, that was not the case. So, if you were hit by a boogie bomb, either you had to wait that 10 seconds, or you were gonna die. And believe me, most of the time, you just got one pumped in the face while bouncing around, dancing forever, waiting to die. It was so OP when it was first added in, but thankfully... Epic Games came in and patched this thing and now it's not as good or not nearly as good as it used to be. So coming in at the number four spot on today's list, we have to talk about the pump shotgun. I think we all agree that the pump shotgun is hands down one of the best guns in Fortnite and especially when Fortnite first came out, the pump shotgun was absolutely amazing. You know, amazing at close range, those beautiful one pumps to the head, always so satisfying. But there is one little difference between the pump we have right now and the pump that we had when Fortnite first came out, and that was the rain. The pump shotgun back when Fortnite first came out had absolutely insane range. This thing was actually a sniper. So you have a gun that is incredibly powerful at close range, at the same time, you could quite literally snipe people with this gun. I'm talking like 100 meters, you could be getting like 50, 90 headshot damage. Like this thing was absolutely insane. And thankfully they did fix it, of course. Now this thing has like no range, but you know, back in the day, this thing's range was just absolutely insane. And sometimes you didn't even need an AR. If you had the pump shotgun, could go around you know, one pumping people at close range, at the same time, with a couple of shots, you could down somebody at 50, 100 meters with the pump shotgun. So, this was one of the most OP things ever in Fortnite, and thankfully, it is no longer in the game. So, coming in at the number three spot on today's list, let's keep it going with the pump shotgun, and we have to talk about the double pump strat. When you're talking about OP things in Fortnite, the Dilla Pump Strat is going to come up because it was insanely overpowered, especially if you were really good with it. So for those of you that don't know what this is, or you just started playing Fortnite, with the Pump Shotgun, you have about a two second delay between shots. You shoot one shot, you have to wait a couple of seconds before you can shoot again. With the Devil Pump Strat, it would bypass that. You would shoot with one Pump Shotgun, and you would switch to your other one, and instantly fire, and just go back and forth and you could pretty much rapid fire the pump shotgun which is 
crazy overpowered because the pump shotgun deals so much damage. So being able to rapid fire this thing made it one of the most OP things ever. Now, thankfully, a lot of people weren't amazing at this, but you run into people in game who were really efficient with this strategy. It was just way too much. And a semi just didn't stand a chance because of the semi shotgun, it couldn't even match the fire rates of the double pump strategy. And if you did have a semi, you had to get that one shot to the head. And if that didn't kill them, you were most likely going to die. But then again, with the pump shotgun as well, you had to be more accurate. You had to be constantly, you know, switching back and forth. So it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. It sounds a lot easier than it actually was. But once you got it down and once you were efficient, it was just way too much. You would just be going around rapid firing the pump shotgun, you know, killing people so, so fast. And the big thing is this was in the game for a long time, like absolute months after months, they didn't fix it. And then eventually in 2018, they did fix it and it is no longer an issue, but man, was this thing OP. So coming in at the number two spot on today's list, we have something that was recently added into the game. And that of course, is the jetpacks and this goes back to February I believe it was February when they originally were gonna put this in the game and then there was so much backlash from the community they did not want jetpacks in the game so they replaced it with the hunting rifle so you know the hunting rifle has been a game for a long time now so the jetpacks were supposed to be here a long time ago but since people were so upset they just delayed it and now we finally have jetpacks Jetpacks in the game. Now, jetpacks are a limited time item, which is a really good thing because jetpacks really change the game. Now, I'm sure there are people out there who absolutely love the jetpacks, they want them to stay, but I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who also really don't like the jetpacks, and there's a reason why it was delayed in the first place. A huge portion of the community did not want these things in the game and thankfully it is a limited item item so it won't be in the game that much longer but it's definitely worth talking about so the jetpacks are interesting they're just pretty much you know what we expected being able to kind of float in the air or you know jump up onto a roof with a jetpack or whatever and i don't know I'm, i have mixed opinions on it personally i i think it's cool but at the same time it really changes the game, right? Instead of having to deal with somebody just on the ground or building on something, now you have people just kind of jumping up and floating in the air and, you know, falling off of a, a structure and being able just to float their way down. It really changes the game and from what I've seen, a lot of people aren't crazy about this thing, but again, since it is limited time, it won't be in the game that much longer. And it's cool that they tried it, but I don't think it belongs in Fortnite. So here we are, guys, the number one spot on today's list. This is what I personally think is the most overpowered thing in all of Fortnite, and I think a lot of you know what that might be. That is the guided missile. This thing was so incredibly overpowered, and when it was in the game for that one week, it was really tough because if you had this thing, great, good for you. You were probably gonna get a lot of kills with this thing, but the big issue was when you were in that top 10 situation and you didn't have a guided missile, you felt like you had such a massive disadvantage. And since this thing was really rare, it was only like one, maybe two people who actually had these things in that top 10 situation. So if you didn't have this, you were most likely going to lose because the guided missile was just way too easy to use. And it really took no skill. If you look at other things on this list, like the jetpacks or the double pump strategy or even the sniper shotgun, sure, it requires some skill, but the guided missile, absolutely no skill at all. Now, I think the biggest thing about the guided missile that made it so overpowered wasn't that it took no skill to use, but the amount of time a missile, a single missile could stay in the air was absolutely insane. Like you could, I don't know how long it was, but it must've been like at least a minute and a half to two minutes 
It was absolutely insane because all you had to do is hide somewhere, shoot this thing, and then survey the area with the guided missile, find somebody, and then just keep spamming those missiles at them, and eventually you'll get the kill. And strats with this in duos and squads, it was just way too much. And there was just so much of a disadvantage if you didn't have this thing that they kind of had to remove it from the game now. Maybe one day it will come back. I'm really curious. They they could nerf this thing big time, but back then when it was added in, it was the most OP thing I have ever seen in Fortnite. So there we have it, guys. Those are five things that were just incredibly OP here in Fortnite that, in a way, they kind of broke the game and ruined the game. And again, for me, the most OP thing was the Guided Missile, but honestly, everything from the Boogie Bomb all the way down to the Guided Missile, everything on this list was just so OP, it either got removed or it got nerfed big time, and everything on this list has been kind of tinkered with, in a way, by Epic Games. Besides that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe for more Fortnite's Top 5s, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.